Hey guys, John Paul here. I'm in my home office. I'm in front of my Mac. As you know, I'm a large format film shooter and of late I've been doing a lot more black and white. And one of the things I've been doing with my equipment is scanning my film into the computer using a digital darkroom in order to print out much bigger digital negatives to produce my platinum palladium prints. And uh, there are a lot of other ways to print. You can go right to your inkjet printer and what have you. So one of the things I've been experiencing uh, is having a lot of people send me messages asking about how I get accuracy on my monitor and in my files. And one of the things I've shared with the, the bulk of new people to film photography that are sending their film, for, uh, film to me for scanning as well as a lot of my workshop clients are just a couple really basic settings that I have set up on the Mac. I'm going to go over and show you how to do these and um, along with using the histogram uh, these basic settings are going to help you really visualize whether or not your blacks are truly black or, or how close they are so you can get your grays correct as well as seeing how close your whites truly are to white. So I'm going to switch over to screen mode now and I'm going to walk you through these really basic settings that I, I really feel make working on black and white images on the computer vastly more easy. I'll see you on the computer. Hi guys, John Paul here. Um, we're in screen mode now. I am in Photoshop Creative Cloud 2018 and I have pulled up a fairly new black and white image and to give you a feel I, I thought this was a good example I shot this image in a blizzard so um, so it really is going to give us a good sense of black and whites very simply I have scanned my 4x5 inch sheet of film I scan relatively neutral and this is uh, an image I haven't worked on yet. So let's get right to the beginning tip um, before uh, we really make any adjustments. In order to give myself a feel of whether or not my blacks are truly black or, or whether they're at the level of gray I wish them to be and, um, and to be able to visualize whether my whites are truly white or if my eye is fooling me, I rely on the background in Photoshop. So in Photoshop CC, I'm going to go up and click on Photoshop CC in the upper left, go to Preferences, and drop down to Interface and click on that. Now what this is going to bring up is our standard screen mode which we see right back here and I have chosen to go with black for that. Um, a lot of people like to go with gray. Um, I, I prefer black because I, I don't want honestly anything wishy-washy. Um, you can if you wish select black, dark gray, medium gray all the way through. You can also select a custom color which which we'll do in a while here. So for, uh, for my standard screen mode I'm gonna choose black. Now not only does this work great for black and white images but this gives me a really great idea with color images whether or not my my shadows are true black if I want them to be there or not. Um, it gives me the real starting point that I can visualize along with using my histograms. Now the other um, important um, area that I like to check is the, it's called uh, full screen mode here. And I'll show you how we get there, but with full screen mode, go on and click and I have selected custom as opposed to any of the grays that are light gray even. I want to go to the full end of the spectrum select custom color and I just go way up in the left hand corner and I'm trying to choose true white and then I'll click OK and I'll click OK to get out of here. Now I'm in Photoshop 
And if I press the F key once, it brings me to a slightly fuller screen mode so I can work on my image. I can zoom in a little bit more if I like. If I click F again, it will bring me all the way to full screen mode. And now you can see that my whites in this image that I really saw on the black screen as white are actually quite dim. Now, these were very, uh, very low light conditions. The cloud cover was heavy and it literally was a blizzard. So my whites weren't going to be true white. This gives me an idea of where I am visually and whether or not I want those grays or if I want to really pull my adjustments up to true white. So I'll click on the F key again and it brings me right back to, uh, to my native screen in Photoshop and now I can see where my blacks are. Um, that is the, the main key uh, function that I wanted to show you. Uh, from there, just to give you an idea, I will create a new layer. Go to New Adjustment Layer, and I'm going to go to Curves. And I'm going to keep it on Normal, because as you can see, normally I work in Luminosity, but with my grayscale image that I scanned right out of there, Normal is what I end up with. You can see on my histogram that, again, black background, the whites look pretty darn white. You can see here on the histogram, sorry, a histogram with black and white is opposite um, from dark to light as that in color. So my white end of the histogram here, you can see I've got a pretty nice little gap. And if I grab the end of that histogram just to give you an idea and I pull it over toward where the information starts, now we're getting closer to white. So I'm going to click on the F key twice. Now you can see I'm much closer to white here and I, I actually like that. So I'll drop back to my, uh, my native page here. Now my blacks against such a neutral setting, my blacks and the knots on the tree here and what have you look quite good. I'm going to drag the end of the histogram over toward where I have information and you can see now I'm really getting closer to black. Hey guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was really helpful. It's, it's something very simple um, that can really help you take your adjustments of black and white photos, whether captured on film and scanned or digitally captured, to, to another level a little more quickly. If you would like to see greater detail, um, learn about other subjects, have me share different things, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment and message me and send requests. Really want to make this a, a community where I can share my knowledge uh, from years of doing this as a professional and help you all take your photography to the next level and help us all enjoy the process of photography. Have a great day. Happy shooting.